Hello everybody, I am Mold and West, and this is Overlord once again. And there is another gate in the abyss, to the abyss over in Golden Hills, I believe. I need to go and take care of that before I go on to the Ruborian Desert. That is like the only thing left in the game that is completely new to me. And I want to see what that is all about. Brown, now, green, blue, I don't remember the exact loadout of minions blue. I had. And then... Yeah, that'll do. Anyway, off camera between... This and the last episode. Uh oh, that's bad. I did not realize I was close enough to him. But like I was saying, I just yanked my earbuds out, scratching my nose. But like I was saying, I lost the cushion. Like I was saying, I went off camera and did a little bit of farming for minion life force and some gold and went and upgraded my armor and sword nice and goodly I did so I got a much more powerful flaming sword of death and dismemberment and much more powerful armor all over my back and I lost two browns and a red. There we go. Now that I got the bit of incompetence out of the way... Okay, I did remember to start my timer. Now that all of my incompetence is out of the way, let's get down to business to finding that abyss gate around here. I... Not even sure where to look, though. Outside of the royal halls. Uh, where was the royal halls? Probably not this gate. It was probably one of the further in gates. Yeah, this one. A stronghold. I believe that was the, where the royal halls was. Unless it was back there on the other side of the brewery. Okay, I'm on the right track then. And I still haven't found the beer kettle back in the brewery. Okay, the dwarves are fighting amongst themselves. Well... That's gonna be a problem. Well, let's just throw a little consideration there. Yeah, the dwarves want, which probably means it's drinkable or valuable. Hmm, I'm fine with either one. Into the boiling depths of hell. Now, let me see. What am I gonna be dealing with here? Probably spiders, judging from all these webs. You there! Stop being alive! Burn them dwarves! Kill them! Rape! Incinerate them! Because that will make them die faster! The faster they die, the better! And them boys got ranged attacks! Can't be tolerating that! Well, let's just get you boys up there since I used up all my magic! Come on now, break that stuff, find me some magic juice. I need to get more magic back in my bones since I done went and used it all. Not a good idea it is to go wasting all of your magic power all at once. But I wanted to kill things and I wanted to kill them fast. And my health is regenerating at a really good rate now. It ain't too fast so it's still possible to die, but it's good because of all the greens that I tossed into my armor. Now, what am I gonna be finding in here is that will make this trip to hell worth it? There's gotta be freeze coming in here. And you boys all need to get dead. Get in there and see what you can find, my pretties. 
And I'm noticing that one dead guy didn't get revived. I know for a fact that I saw one of my blue minions pick up the dead guy, but apparently he didn't bother reviving him. That's my statue. I detect some sentience emanating from that golden Goldo statue. Hmm. I think our grumpy little friend's spirit may still reside in it. Is that so? A golden prison. Now that's eternal damnation with some style. You're damn right. Thank you. Who said that? Take that, Goldo. Well, that ain't doing. That ain't gonna do nothing for me. But at least I got a nice supply of minions here. Now, let me see. I saw dwarves heading in this direction. And there might be something in this hole worth grabbing. Get on in there, minions! Collect the goodies for father! A little bit of magic is always good. Let's not go wasting it on little bastards this time. Instead, I will use it on more qualified victims. Yeah. Alright, good. Extra equipment from my boys. I see a nice, healthy sack of gold. Well, he seems a little down. Oh, not so down anymore. He sees the gold. That's my gold, though. <laughs> Probably a trap. Definitely gonna be a trap if it's showing something like that. Understandably, <laughs> that Wraith doesn't get tired of watching dwarves explode. Mm -hmm. But I want that gold. You don't need him out of the way if you want that gold. And by out of the way, I mean dead again. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Get rid of you, you big gold exploding asshole. Take care of these boys. There you go. Did I also mention that I upgraded the living shit out of my sword? I threw a bunch of reds and browns into it to make it cut harder and burn hotter. You fuck off. This my gold. You're not allowed to look at it. It belongs in my tower. And away we go. You. Look at him trundling after that gold. They still can't resist it. Okay, so Why do I use the gold? You lure him to a bigger piece. Hmm. <laughs> so I gotta use the gold to lure the dwarf to see what happens if I take him to the right place. All of these gates of hell have some really unique puzzles going on. There was that fucking Melvin mini golf. Uh oh, what's going on now? Oh, more go more dwarves. So the smell of gold is luring them outside. All right then. So yeah. come on now, get moving. I need you to move. Stop being stuck in the corner. Yeah, stupid ass minions. There we go. Getting all caught up on nothing. So, lead as many dwarves as I can to something. Well, since they seem to like gold, there's a particular bit of gold over here they might be interested in. The dwarves' hatred for gold was even greater than their lust for gold. Indeed. His amused me. But perhaps it is only fitting that he is hacked apart by his own people. <laughs> well said, voice in my head. Let's bring out more dwarves, have them hack him apart faster. He doesn't like it. I wouldn't imagine. One. Hit him harder! Hit him harder! Yeah, we're gonna get him as soon as we get another assload of dwarves crawling out of these holes. The more dwarves, the better. That means Goldo gets to get beaten to death even faster. Come on now. This way, please. 
Let's see how many dwarves it takes to change a light bulb. And by change a light bulb, I mean murder their king who is encased in gold. And I'll do it. But it will take a while. Oh, they're actually knocking lumps of gold off of him. That means more money for me. Uh-oh. Is that Wraith back? Uh, what is happening now? Well, he's definitely in pain. Ah, the Abyss Stone is inside of him. And all them dwarves that were just hacking away at him seem to have mysteriously perished. The Abyss Stone is buried inside Goldo. I noticed. a few more angry kids in here to dig that little fellow out. That's the plan. And that is going to be a problem. Need more gold to lure more dwarves to beat up the fucking king of all the dwarves who they hate. There we go. I done went and wasted the magic I built up on lesser beings. Just like I said I wouldn't do. That's right, collect those bits of wraith armor. Protect yourselves. Protect your devilish little bodies. I'll likely find more gold in the directions that them wraiths came from. This is dark. Can barely see anything in here. Well, I can certainly see more of them wraiths showing up out of nowhere to come and be a big old pain in my ass. And I'm gonna have to put a stop to that. There you go. Just keep on hacking wraiths to pieces, I will. Is this thing gonna make light happen? Make light! Well, that seems to have made some light. Now, if I find more of them, are they gonna light the room up even more? Probably. You there with the goddamn cannon, you stop that. Now, somebody get that dead guy back up. Okay, there you go. Let's not have any more casualties. I'm not the mood for losing a big, sizable chunk of my army. You get got. That's right, you can shoot my boys, but they'll keep on coming right back for ya. Ain't no stopping these little bastards, except for the one who done went died over there because he was separated from the rest of the horde. These guys are just spawning infinitely. That's gonna be a problem. Maybe if I light up the entire place, then wraiths will stop spawning? I would hope. You get out of my way. Yeah, this thing's already activated. Hmm. Now where would I find another one of those things to light the place up? That's what I need. I need more light going on in here. Let's just cut our way through them wraiths. There's another one. Hurry up and kill the bastard. You make light happen. There we are. That seems to work. There seems to be fewer wraiths spawning. So there's still gotta be another one or two. And I saw a weird red glow over here. Probably from fire. Probably from another thing that I need to shut off. Probably from wraiths that are about to be coming out of the goddamn woodwork. Now then, lose, revive the dead. That is your purpose, after all. Gotta keep that team alive. And then... Yeah, you're coming out, too. And maybe don't stand in one spot, little man. I need you to stay with the rest of the horde so that you don't die horribly. As I recall, them chargy boys 
have a lot of destructive capabilities that are always directed at my army. And I lost an entire horde to one of them back in that last abyss. Now, let me see. Get aside from any goodies for my minions. What else might be in there? What else might be down here? I hope to find a thing that will allow me to lead more dwarves, which I have, but I need to get rid of him. Yep, you make the gold happen. The dwarves come after it, and then they explode. And then there's also fire. Playful types, those rapes. Yeah, they are. What would happen if you gave those dwarves a bit of liquid refreshment? Hmm. Even out the odds a bit. That is a good question. Now let's just flip that switch and see what happens. Maybe it changes up the way the fire works. Let's just see about that. Switchity do. Hmm. I don't know about that. But I do know I need to take care of them wraiths over there. So that the dwarves will be lured by the gold. But how, though? How do I get over there? Hmm. Gnarl did say something about liquid refreshment. Mayhaps it has something to do with, no, not the dwarfness machine here. I just about sent all of my minions into the fucking fire pits. And just being close to it hurt me. Hmm. I gotta have these pipes, like, done up the right way. But which way is the right way? And come on now, run up the pipes. Up at the pipes with ya. And there. Pipe go turny. Somebody go turn that one. Oh, I see. They're on a timer. Which means I need to put you boys right oh. there and then I just accidentally sent a few into the alright come on now ah uh, reds where are you going flip the switch alright now somebody else hurry up and flip that one before the other one flips back go 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 now there we go I done did it power up them dwarves That'll take care of the wraith problem, I think. But they probably... Yep, they're going after the wraiths. Hallelujah! And now we play the winning game. Get after him! Yeah. Don't interfere with my games. I'll do whatever I want with my... with your games. Your wraiths! Yes, fuck them wraiths! I gotta get that gold back! And hopefully, them orbs don't go into my minions. That would be a huge problem. That wraith took the gold over this way. There he is. I'm gonna get him. And I'm gonna get him good. Yeah, so how are we gonna get this guy, though? Does this open up? Ah, uh, maybe it does. Yeah, let's get that right and take that gold. There he goes, he's making a run for it. Take them all down, my boys. You can't escape from me. You are a piece of shit. I got you now, you big sight wielding son of a bitch. Now take out them shooty boys! And quickly now with the reviving of the dead! I lost a hat full of good minions here! And let's just focus on minimizing the casualties while we can. Okay, that's all of them. There ain't nobody about to die here again. 
And we're going to take this gold and lead more dwarves back there to mine out that abyss stone from Goldo's gut. In the next episode, because I'm all out of time for this one, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this again in the next one. Goodbye!